Hello guys. So today I'm going to show you uh, how to upload uh, SSL certificate in the data power. So basically, uh, we will. Uh, this situation comes when uh, you will have to make any connection with any uh, secure server. So uh, we will see how uh, we upload a certificate in the data power and uh, how to utilize that certificate uh, in order to make connection with. Uh, uh, target uh, server which is serving request on the HTTPS. So the first uh, uh, step is to acquire the certificate uh, from the target server. It is very easy to uh, get that. So say for example, uh, if I know the URL of my target server, then I simply type it uh, over here uh, like HTTPS and www.irctc.co.in and uh, I, after some time, I get like a screen like this, so I can click over here. I can get the certificate information and click on details and you can copy to file from here. So make sure that uh, uh, you, uh, 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 you configure it uh, with a P7B format because uh, that is uh, something which I have used in this uh, uh, video. Other formats are also supported like uh, uh, x.509 but uh, this video is created with a p7b format so you can create next and then you can provide the file name and then uh, you can save the certificate so that will be available to you now once we have a certificate uh, we need to upload it in with data power so what you need to do is that you need to log into the data power you will have this screen you can select the appropriate domain out of it which is selected here and then you need to go to the file management. Uh, there are several places where you can put this information. So you can put it inside the cert, you can put it inside the pub cert, but I typically choose it to put it inside the cert. So click on actions, click on upload files. Now you need to choose the file. So I have already downloaded a file uh, which is related to the WSRR server. So uh, uh, I choose it over here and I click it open then uh, add and then upload in a few moment it says that uh, uploaded successfully so you can continue you can see in the cert folder that uh, your certificate has got uploaded successfully this is our certificate it's got uploaded uh, successfully uh, once that is done uh, you need to create a certificate object uh, so to create a certificate object you need to type in like crypto and then crypto certificate and then click add provide an arbitrary name over there WSRR server SSL certificate yeah, now you can see that uh, your uh, certificate is displayed over here so you can choose uh, different folders from here, but uh, it is uh, safe since we have uploaded inside the search, so it is available. Now there is no password and leave other options as default. Click on apply. And you can see that your object is up. So you can save the configuration. This, By this uh, you have just uh, created a certificate object which just encapsulates your file. Now uh, moving forward uh, to uh, enable the SSL connection, you need to create the crypto uh, validation credential. Crypto. So once you type it, you can see it over here. Uh, click on add, provide a name. Credential, choose your certificate object. Click on add and then leave other options as default. Click on apply. Your object is up. So these are the base objects uh, which we need for creating a crypto profile. So basically a crypto profile is a profile uh, which is used when an SSL connection is made. I mean when a data power, uh, when data power acts as a client then uh, you need to have a uh, SSL profile through which uh, uh, the data power can connect to the other server. So you can click it like uh, <coughs> uh, SSL proxy profile 
and then click and add create a proxy profile WSRR server proxy profile SSL direction can be reverse, forward or two way. So if you click here, it will show you what it is. Forward means uh, proxy X as a SSL client. So this is our intent. Since data power is connecting with the WSRR server, so uh, we need to select as forward. Then uh, we need to create a crypto profile as well. So you can go ahead and uh, click on plus sign. Click uh, create a crypto profile WSRR client SSL profile uh, we can uh, select the validation credential from whatever we have created leave other options as default and then click apply so you have a crypto profile in place uh, leave other options as default because they are adv for uh, advanced users and uh, permit connections is off yes so let's create it our object is up save it and that's all so we have so far created a ssl a proxy profile and the related objects uh, by uh, i am summarizing once again you need to upload the uh, uh, the uh, certificate file uh, to the data power once you do that, you need to create an object that encapsulates it and uh, then uh, you can start creating your uh, server proxy profile and which requires uh, further objects as well like a forward crypto profile which further requires uh, validation credential as well. So you can keep on creating from here and uh, at last you have a proxy profile which you can utilize uh, in data power in order to connect to uh, SSL enabled server. In my next uh, uh, presentation, uh, uh, I, I am going to uh, connect with, uh, I am going to uh, tell you uh, how to uh, integrate a, a WSRR server with the data power XI52 box. And there we will utilize this uh, server proxy profile uh, in order to uh, connect to and SSL enabled uh, WSRR server. So thank you for uh, watching this video. This is Ajitam.